Omaha community came together to help a woman clean up her childhood home after somebody tore it apart while she was taking care of her elderly father. Vandals created a mess at the house at 42nd and Lafayette, but tonight an encouraging result. Reporter Emily Zink was there as volunteers helped transform the trashed house into a livable place again. When you see it, you'll know why I was so discouraged. It's just, I have no idea what's been going on in our home now, but you'll see and it's just terrible. Lorraine Beck says she moved her father out of his home a few years ago. At the request of her dad this weekend, she went to check on his house. I came here and sure enough, that's when I saw and I was like, oh my gosh, he would have a fit. I would never bring him here. Not like this. Boxes had been emptied, documents destroyed and heirlooms had been shattered. Someone destroyed Lorraine's childhood home. There's people that can help you if you want to help yourself, but do not take other people's lives, their memories, things like that. Lorraine walked into what she describes as a war zone, but luckily some students from Nebraska Christian College in their Urban Plunge ministry were here to help her pick up the pieces. I mean, it's like a tidal wave, tidal wave of emotion, tidal wave of despair, tidal wave of just destruction. John Chilcote says his students couldn't be happier to help. The biggest thing is, you know, trying to help bring joy back, not just to uh, the homeowners, but to this community. Unbelievable. I can see the floor. Lorraine says she is overwhelmed by all the love. Love is the key to everything. These young people don't even know me, but I see all kind of love right here. They hugging me and they're picking stuff up, taking care. This is what you're supposed to do in a community. Emily Zink came to be Action 3 News. Love to see people helping out. A homeless man found hiding inside that North Omaha home now faces criminal charges. Police checked on the house yesterday morning. Officers say they found Joshua McGuire hiding in an upstairs bedroom. Investigators say they also found a small bag of meth and a glass pipe. Police booked the 20-year-old on drug charges. In